So right now I'm going to put salt on the base before washing because of the bacteria and germ dust inside because the base is coming from far distance all the way from Africa. I'm first of all going to use the salt to wash the base. So after washing, I'm going to put it in the water. I forgot to bring the filter that I'm going to use. So now I'm going to put inside the filter, remove the dust and the germ and bacteria. So I guess we do the same thing because it's very necessary for you to do the same first. Then after this now, I'm going to put it in the hot water, boiled water already on the fire. So meanwhile, I'm going to wait for like 10 minutes. So, so this is already boiled water. So I'm going to leave it for like 10 minutes just to remove the germ and the bacteria and dust on the beans before cooking fully. So see you and stay tuned. God bless you all. Salt to the beans. Look at it one salt I don't know that that will not be enough for me so this is the sauce added salt to the beans and this is not Q half as you can see not full one because it doesn't mean the uh, need for Q maggi Q so I'm just putting this half so this is the slicing onions I'm going to add to it so I will also be adding little water bit by bit so not much water so to the beans get brown this white beans is going to be brown later so before i can put add sauce to it tomatoes and other ingredients that the onions i'm going to blend so i can fry it and put inside the beans later when the beans get brown so not yet ready anyway i'm sick in it till the beans get brown and soft without turning without turning okay see you soon add this blended crayfish inside the beans that will make the beans have more flavor that is okay because for now there's lockdown getting all these african things is kind of difficult so that is for dead. So I have to cover it that you can see the base is getting brown. So <coughs> sorry, sorry guys. So this is palm oil, it's already on fire, and um, this is um, tomatoes and the fresh tomatoes and fresh pepper and onions. This is slices onions. So I'm going to fry them together. So I decided to add ground soya on the palm oil with palm oil so it can give the beans more flavor. So sometimes you can use the ground soya to prepare beans alone without palm oil. For me, I prefer palm oil, but I decided to add ground soya so it can the food can get more flavor. So this is it. I'm adding more ground soya to the palm oil so i'm going to heat the palm oil a little more so before i can fry fry the pepper <coughs> something went so these beans i'm going to show you again because um i've been cooking these beans for over two two hours plus now almost three hours without stirring it so the beans will remain warm one so this is how i like my beans i don't like beans that's so soft like that so this one is very soft and okay and it's getting brown and without stirring it i leave it the way i put it on fire so i start adding water like a little cup of water every 20 minutes so without letting the water full cover of the beans so i just leave it like that without stirring it so now I'm going to fry these things. Then I pour it without stirring it as well as I have to cover it with a low profile. So stay tuned and watch when I finish cooking. So I'm going to show everything to you how 
the food look like. Thank you. So this is the oil and the tomatoes. I'm just pouring it now. So I'm, without stirring, I'm not going to stir the beans. So I'm going to leave it like this till maybe more 10 minutes. I'm going to load the fire so, so that food will not get burned. Almost ready anyway. I'm giving you 20 minutes or more. So then can go in. So be sweet. It takes so yummy, 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 yummy. 20 minutes. In 20 minutes this food will be it's going to be ready. So stay with me. Stay and stay too and watch it. Look at it. So delicious, delicious and yummy beans. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon.